torpedo bombers. Just a while ago, they were more of a distraction. It was no use flying them in mixed battles, and when it came to air only... Let's set this straight. Torpedoes are much more finicky to use than bombs. You have to be at a right altitude, right speed, and right angle, while also becoming a perfect target. Yeah, all of us have tried our hand at using torpedoes to sink AI-controlled ships that move in a straight line. But sooner or later, we got back to our reliable, trusty bombs. But that was then. With naval battles open and available to everyone, a torpedo bomber isn't just as good as any other aircraft, it's every ship's worst nightmare. Keep in mind that right now only some nations have a big roster of torpedo bombers, namely Great Britain, the US and Japan, which makes perfect sense as all those three engaged in the biggest naval battles of World War II. Okay, so what are torpedo bombers? The biggest thing you have to know is that just like regular bombers, they come in all shapes and sizes. Ship-based and land-based, single-engine, twin-engine, with three engines or even four. Like the Kawanishi, the Imperial Japanese Navy long-range flying boats, or the heavy Italian P-108s. Quite a few land-based fighters, bombers and attack aircraft were, at some point, refitted to carry torpedoes. And there were many aircraft like the Hellcat deck base fighters, which were designed with torpedo use in mind. Yep, that's how devastating torpedoes were, IRL. You just need to know how to use them properly. Piece of advice number one. Know your torpedoes, especially the ones you're going to use. Every model has its own constraints for launching it with respect to your altitude and the velocity you're traveling at. If you're playing arcade, there are things that will guide you. Hints that appear on screen when you're flying too fast or too high. And also a special bombing line. In RB or SB, though, you have to manage on your own. Learn the stats of your torpedoes and you'll be rewarded with glorious one-hit eliminations of many ships. Piece of advice number two. Use the map to your advantage. To properly release a torpedo, you have to go pretty slow and low. Enemies love targets like that, and who can blame them? That's just like it was IRL. Torpedo bombers were the most dangerous types of aircraft to fly, after all. Luckily for you, most naval battles in War Thunder take place near the shore, with lots of islands, rocks, and other types of service objects. Learn the maps. Use the landscape to stealthily approach your target. Attack from unconventional angles and reveal yourself for only a short period of time. Those pesky AA gunners won't have enough time to react. Piece of advice number three. Be a team player. If your friends and squad mates keep your target busy with heavy fire, there will be an opening for your attack. Once again, that's a tactic that was used in real battles. For a few moments prior to the release of their fish, torpedo bombers were very vulnerable, so other fighters or ships were tasked with a mission to keep enemy AA guns occupied or silent, using every trick they had from smokes to heavy shelling. Prefer to pay solo? The same logic applies anyway. You have far greater chances to sink a ship that's currently fighting other players. Piece of advice number four. Don't get too greedy. Yeah, it's much easier to score a hit if you get really close to the target. But remember, it works the other way as well. The closer you are, the easier it is to shoot you down. Learn to read enemy movement. Take a little while to gather intel. How does this ship react to enemy attacks? What are its movement patterns? Big ships like destroyers and cruisers are rather sluggish. With experience, you'll be able to predict what they're going to do under different circumstances. But if you're just starting out, it pays to be extra careful. Finally, piece of advice number five. Know your own aircraft. 
Of course, in War Thunder you won't have to spend hours and hours on your H6K crocodile or Catalina searching for a target in an area covering thousands of square kilometers. In the game, even at sea, the engagements are quick and brutal, and you can accomplish almost anything flying a light, short-range torpedo bomber. The American Helldiver or the Japanese Ryusei are great examples here, both being able to carry torpedoes and carry out lightning-quick diving attacks. With them, you can sort of hover above your target till the very last moment, then cut your throttle and deploy air brake to drop on your enemy. Also, do take a look at the American BTD-1. It can do the same while also carrying two torpedoes at once. If you prefer heavier aircraft, keep in mind that you won't have that kind of maneuverability. Forget about lightning quick attacks, remember everything we've said. Use map features to your advantage, coordinate your actions with other players, plan your attacks meticulously, make sure that enemy AA guns won't have much time to shoot back, deliver your blow and get the hell out. True. It's more challenging to fly these kinds of machines, but trust us, it's also very rewarding to score a hit on one of these beasts. That's it for today. What tactics do you use to score hits with torpedoes? Share your knowledge in the comments below. Happy fishing!